You may notice in this tutorial and the previous tutorials where I imported the items uh, from the project down into the timeline that um, my assets on the timeline are only showing up as about uh, one and a half seconds long. Yours may come in so that it stretches the entire length of your timeline which is the default setting. If you don't want that to happen what you want to do is if you're on a Mac you go to After Effects up at the top then Preferences and Import and when you do that under the first section where it says still footage you can have it be the entire length of the composition or in my case it's one second and like 20 frames in a base 30 frame per second um, you can change this to be whatever you want it can be very helpful if you are trying to build up a complex uh, animation such as an animatic uh, if it's not taking up an entire two-minute uh, composition each time you bring an image down. Okay? Alright, so now that we understand about that, let's see about animating this snow. So to animate something in After Effects you have to add keyframes and to add keyframes you go over here to the timeline, to the twirl menu, uh, twirl button on the uh, item that you want to animate and you open it up and for some reason it makes you open yet another twirl down under the transform which is indeed where you want to be. Now to establish an initial keyframe you have to um, click on the stopwatch for the item that you want to animate and since we want our snow to fall straight down I'm going to go ahead and animate the position. Make sure your time slider is at zero, 00, the beginning. You can assure yourself of that by either dragging it over to the very left hand side or you can come up here to your time controls and you can click on the first button which is called first frame and that will take your time slider to the very first frame if that's where you want your snow to f start falling. And in our situation, that is where we want it. So click on the stopwatch for position. Then I'm going to have this actually animate the entire time. And don't worry that it went to black. That just means that I have not stretched these bottom images out to be the entire timeline. And now I can come over here and I can come either up to my composition window and click and drag the image down or I can use the numerical controls if I know what numbers I'm not that mathematically inclined or if you notice when you hover over the numbers you get a double arrow slider the first number under position is your X axis which is horizontal so if I were to move that I'd be joggling it back and forth left to right or you can come over to the second number which is your y-axis which means that you will be moving the image up or down so with my time slider positioned over here at the end of my animation I'm going to come over back to my uh, y-axis and I am going to animate that down all the way to the end of the image. Whoop! There I can see up at the top. I will let go so you can see that. Right here I can see that I have one of my pull handles and uh, that means that the snow is now falling off the edge of my picture. So all I have to do, do not move the time slider from where it is or you will drop in an extra keyframe. All I have to do is come back over here to my y-axis and click and drag it in the opposite direction until the snow covers the entire scene. And then I'm going to come down here to my other, my three other images. I'm going to hold, click on the first one, hold the shift key 
click on the final one that will select all three at one time so I only have to do this once and I'm going to click and drag those out throughout the entire timeline so that now there is an image behind my snow I will come up here to my time controls I will hit the first frame button now I will hit the RAM preview button and it will the time slider down here will scroll through and do one queue up and then it will begin to play it back. It's just pre-rendering the frames and now it is playing it in its actual time. You can tell right here that it's playing it in real time and uh, it will just continue to loop that for all of eternity. You can come over here and take a look and see how it's doing. And uh, it looks as though there is a very fine silt of snow falling on a large, large basket in the woods. And always remember when you are finished to click RAM Preview one last time to make it stop playing. Otherwise, your computer may fall over and die. Join me in the next tutorial where we bring in the bird into this and we see if we can figure out how to make the bird fly through the loops in the basket.